Here we are! Yay! We're back for another video! Let's start over because I wasn't looking at the camera. Hey! I did it again! Looking at the camera. Yes, we are! Hey! We're back for another video! Yay! In this episode, I'm going to be working in the yard. That's boring. Hey, we're back for another video. In this episode, it will be what I did on my summer vacation. And we'll start off with a cute segment of scrub jays because I enjoyed them. See ya at the end. hot y'all but iced coffee mm. ah my face is red and my hair is wild oh wow so I haven't shared a lot about my vision for the cottage and I thought maybe now would be a good time to do that since uh, that's what I'm working on this week so a couple of years ago we got a chance to go to Alaska and we visited a place called the Dahlia Cottage. So if you know Dahlias, you can see where this might be going. I fell in love with the Dahlia Cottage and I fell in love mostly with the garden, naturally. And I've confessed already, I'm not much of a gardener, but I came back with an idea and a vision for what I'd like this place to look like. And so it's taken me a couple of years to get enough momentum to actually start bringing my vision to life. But what I'm trying to do now is take out the front lawn. And my goal for the front lawn is to turn it into a place where there are perennials, fruit trees, berry bushes, wildflowers, native prairie grasses, and no lawn. <laughs> so... This week, I am putting cardboard down over a portion of the lawn and putting compost over that. And then um, I'm going to seed it with prairie grasses and wildflowers. Even though I'm a little bit late in the season, it's early June. Let's see, today is June the 8th. So I don't know how much bloom I'll get out of my wildflowers, but I'll probably get some. And it'll give the prairie grasses a chance to get going and start to build out this vision of getting rid of the lawn and adding in, well, just making it into to a place that is more natural and more beautiful and more ecologically friendly, that's more friendly to pollinators, uh, that's just a more ecologically sustainable place. So that's what we're doing this week. You know, some people lay around on a beach on their vacations, <laughs> but not me. Well, I don't have enough cardboard to cover my space, so let's go on a cardboard run.
Now that that job is complete, I'll show you a few more details. Across the front of the cottage, we have blueberries and they are loaded with berries this year. I laid down cardboard last summer and now there is a nice little path across the front. In the area between the sidewalk and the street, I have already put in a wildflower bed and the pollinators are already visiting. I have planted foxglove and there are some morning glories coming up around the light post that I am going to trellis. I've planted sage. And a plum tree. And in the back are these beautiful lush hollyhocks. Oh, I love that color. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit subscribe and like. That really means a lot to me. And, oh, I forgot to show you my t-shirt. It's a spotted owl. I designed it myself and they're for sale on Threadless. You can buy them over there and a portion, blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. A portion of the proceeds of the sale of these shirts will be going to the American Bird Conservancy to assist in their recovery efforts for the Northern Spotted Owl. So, you get a cute t-shirt and you do something good for the environment. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.